Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the holidays. It is Christmas Eve, and I am in a festive spirit, ready to have the most cancerous spirit for the cancerous stream of all time. Right now, we're listening to the Sailor Moon Christmas album. Yes, this exists. Yes, it is almost 35 minutes of Sailor Moon Christmas music. It's pretty great. And I am going to get copyright struck and on YouTube for this, but eh, it's all part of the game. I'm not going to let myself be controlled. Anyway, hope you're doing well. Hope the uh, scrolling text gives everyone anxiety. It gives me anxiety. That's speed. Anyway, what the fuck is this? Why is, why is the title Christmas Eve Stream Cancerous Zelda Randomizer Top Gun Goose Edition? It's a, it's a good question. So I made the most cancerous Zelda randomizer I could possibly uh, do. And I just pulled up the dials on everything. Randomized entrances, randomized sound effects, randomized color palette. All the keys, all the maps, all the boss keys. Shuffled throughout the entire game on a per dungeon basis. This is going to be extremely painful, to quote Bane. And I am playing as a goose. And you know whose name was Goose? That's right, Tom Cruise's partner. So we need to celebrate Christmas by remembering him forever. Anyway, let's uh, let's do this shit. I got everything set up. I think the sound is good. We're gonna make sure right about now. All I did was run this very briefly just to make sure the thing worked. Uh, this stream gave me 51 cancer <laughs> when it started. It doesn't even exist. What's up, Perth? How you doing, man? Hopefully you're doing well. So I don't think that this intro... I think I might actually want to turn it down. I think this intro, some of the sound effects do not get fucked with, but... There we are, we have... I don't even know what that sound effect is. What is that sound effect? I'll be real with you though, that uh that blue actually looks pretty pretty comfy to So we'll just I don't know, I mean I, I guess we'll watch the intro, right? So there is the Christmas randomizer palette available, but I did that last year. Last year I did the Christmas Um actually both. I did the Advent Calendar uh 2020 event, which was kinda shit. And then for the later streams that same Christmas, I did a proper run using the Christmassy color palette, which is fine, but there's not a whole lot of options for that. If, you know, it's cool the first time, but if you've done a couple of these randomized runs before, they are very similar. They're very vanilla, I guess is the correct way to put it. Ooh, <laughs> nice. We are in uh, Candyland, apparently. <laughs> uh, I like it already. Um, it should have been green for the ultra anxiety combo. Yeah, I can't um I can't actually change the color palette to my liking. That would actually be a severe undertaking. But I like it, it's it's yeah, it's Candyland. That's that's the only way I can really describe it right now. We got the hot pink and the, the nice green, the lime green. I guess it's those are the major colors here. Hmm. I wonder what the dark world looks like, which, speaking of which, considering that I have entrances randomized, I wonder if I can, like, walk into a room and be teleported to the dark world. Possibly. Uh, no promises, by the way. I have no idea if I can even finish this. I am not using a tracker, because with randomized entrances, I don't even know how that's... <laughs> nice again, nice squishy sound. The nice kumi sounds. Let's see, let's do fist. I don't want to do uh, anything too wild, otherwise I will get banned. And then, <laughs> there's our goose. There's our, <laughs> there's our, there's our goose character. Um, so this... God, that's obnoxious. So this does, in fact, skip the intro. <laughs> yeah, I like it already. <laughs> oh boy. You ready for this shit? 
Um, so, the only real issue is I... Oh. Oh, yeah, shit, I randomized enemies, too. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, what am I in for, dude? I randomized so much, I don't even... Rem oh, we got... <laughs> we got the Septic Rivers, so that's nice. The uh, runoff. We apparently live in Candyland, India. This is the River Ganges. Oh. Oh, I uh, randomized damage output too, so... <laughs> yeah. So those do um, three hearts of damage, minimum. <laughs> We're gonna have to be a little bit careful of the uh, floating jellyfish. I wonder how the... <laughs> this is a fucking nightmare world so far. The rivers flow with shit. Jellyfish <laughs> deadly to the Dutch. Oh my god. And we have fire snakes running around, that's good. Um, I am gonna talk to the uncle pretty much right away. You never know if he's gonna have anything for us. I don't know what exactly this thing is doing. Oh, what's up, dog? Hold on, my dog wants to jump on the bed. Oof. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Shit, randomized entrances! No, this is a- Oh no! <laughs> I am just a goose. I am just a goose trying to avoid being eaten by, by Bob Cratchit. Oof! Oh, God. <laughs> Shit, I can't even do anything. I, I can't, I can't, I, my option is to die. My option is to die. Alright. Well. Randomized entrances will certainly make for a very interesting, uh... Oh, no! No, no, oh, whoa, what the fuck is that? Um, oh, those are the, for the keys, yeah, to uh, track it, because everything is randomized. Um, well, I think he just hit select, so that's what I'm going to do. I think that actually counts as a death, though. Uh, when I was doing my run of Link to the Past, when was that, like last month? I noticed that my death counter was actually increasing, as bullshit as it is. Should we go to the sanctuary? Maybe. Oh yeah, there is something here. Good. Hey, we got a small key to Ganon's tower. Nice. Uh, can I even talk to you, dude? I guess not. Oh. Oh. I don't like that sound. <laughs> I like. I like. I just you know head bang a little bit. I can't even talk to him. Holy shit. All right. I guess I have nothing to say. So, I don't even know where to start then. Oh, shit. This is a hell world. <laughs> oh my god, I, I, I'm not entirely sure this is going to be possible. I mean, I guess it is possible, but hey, that's uh, lucky right there. Well done, let's have a cup of tea. <laughs> I like that healing sound, it's another good sound. There's a lot of good sounds here, I like it. Oh god. Oh god! Oh no, please! I want to live! Uh, let's go into the sanctuary, please! Please, for the love of god. And we get some bombs! Holy shit, we got a weapon! We are... an Al-Qaeda goose, ready for Christmas. Alright, but here's the issue here, is I don't want to use my bombs. I need my bombs to get treasure. Okay. That is, alright, so we know where, oh gosh, should I be taking notes? Oh my god. Well, there's going to be a lot of early deaths until I figure out what the fuck is even going on. Um, yeah, maybe we should, you know, I think it's most prudent to take some notes here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, let's see. What was that, the Skull Palace? Uh, Skull Palace in, uh, high, in Uncle Cave. There we are, we're called Uncle Cave. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's, that's a good good note to have. Do we want to go to the sanctuary? I feel like I don't even want to go to the sanctuary. Sanctuary is kind of fucking horrifying. I do not want to be on Death Mountain right now. So once again, the question is, where do we even start? I guess we can start at the swamp, huh? 
Or we could go to Kakariko Village. Oh! Alright, grass is not fun. <laughs> oh man, it's a, it's a wretched grass sound. Alright, note to self, avoid all grass. Uh... What does this old lady have to say? Hey, a fist, long time no see. You want a master sword? Well, good luck with that. It occurs to me that I like toast and jam, but cheese and crackers is better. Alright! Gotta remember, VTorp has a really weird... Vaguely, vaguely obnoxious sense of humor, but yeah, I'll roll with it. Oh. Well, that's how we can get to the Dark World. Uh, let me make that as a note. Dark World entrance equals top right cave in marsh. Okay. Well, we have a map to the Eastern Palace. I'm actually gonna fuck around. Oh, what the fuck is that? What even is that? I feel like I've never seen that enemy before. Maybe that's like an unused asset. Bizarre. But let's go to the uh, let's go to the house. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Whatever you want to do, buddy. Um, shit. Is this Tower of Hera or Ganon's Palace? Uh, I guess we can check right here. Okay, yeah, this is Tower of Hera. Ganon's Palace has like a whole bunch of basements. All right, um. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Tower of Hera equals, um, Dark World Lumberjack House. I'm actually gonna save this right on the desktop. We'll save it as, uh, Cancer, uh, Link to the Pest. Good. Nice. All right, we're getting somewhere. Kind of. We're getting information, and I mean, I guess that's useful. Oh! 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 <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> no, you can't do that to me! You can't do that to me! What the fuck? How's that even work? Oh! Oh! Oh, is it like... Oh, no, by random entrances, they mean... They mean completely random entrances. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh wait, no. Wait, what? Why did it take me here? Well, this is a very difficult to get to Goatsy Palace, so let's uh, let's just save and quit once again. Holy shit. Yeah, once again, I'm gonna try for two streams of this. One today and one tomorrow. Emphasis on try, because this seems... <laughs> this seems a little fucked up. Oh my god, I'm just a goose trying to do my goose things for Christmas. Oh god. Come on, can I? There we are. And what is up? I mean, I guess I could also check out High Rock Castle. I mean, really, you shouldn't even think about this in the sense of what you can do in a normal game, because this, you know, obviously, there are no rules. All right. We're just gonna ignore that. They have some fish on the ground, some slugs. Oh, those are the bomb laying motherfuckers. Oh yeah, those things suck ass. I can attack with bushes. I gotta remember that as well. I don't think there's anything I can do here, so this is like the little same. So the overworld is my safety area, go figure. It is the houses and doors and dungeons and caves where I will truly be afraid. Um, so what do I got? Ganon's tower, one key, and I had a map. I don't know where the map was for. Aw, oh, man. I mean, shit. Oh, oh, that was a fucking wretched noise. That was a fu- um, hmm. Okay, so nothing in here. 
Mountain Goose with highly powerful explosives. Well, that's the plot of this game, is, uh... I am the Christmas goose that Ebenezer Scrooge and was gonna eat with Bob Cratchit and his family. And I figured, no, not on my watch. Oh no, this fucking cave sucks dick! Well, the cave is at least the same. So that means... Alright, progress. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, so, um... What we're trying to do is not beat the game, but get 20 Triforce pieces. So we are now 5% the way... The way there. Um, what should we do? Should I go up there? What happens if I go up here? Alright, so that's where we fell. Um... Shit, well, oh god, but there's something there. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, we got a book. We got a Triforce piece. Gotta be very careful here. I do not want to die. 10% the way there. Um, 15% the way there. Alright, well, fucking who knows. Well, let us uh, commit Sudoku real quick. And, yeah, I guess just go back there, because there's more places there that we did not get to check out. That seems like a nice little house. So, yeah, this is kind of going to be like a brute force playthrough, clearly. I'm just going to try my damnedest. Um, so what can I... Uh, shit. Oh, I used all my bombs. Motherfucker, dude. Hmm. Well, that's shitty. Oh, and there's no, uh, there's no rupee cap. You can hold up to 9,999, which is pretty good. Good job, Vtorp and, and company. I know it's not just Vtorp, but he's the one who, I guess, takes the most credit, so fuck it. We'll give it to him. Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll finish checking this area out, though. was the area down, although, go figure, I need a bomb for that. Oh, fuck me, dude! Dude, that's bullshit! <laughs> oh my god! Storyline, you've been a bad goose since Santa decided to gift you the world of Zelda. Well, this is like... Oh god. Okay. This is like the shitty world of Zelda, you know what I mean? The anti-Zelda. Alright, so... We checked that out, but to the left here I need bombs. I just have to remember that I do need bombs there. I also need rupees. Rupees are also important. Oh, okay. Well, I can... that, was, that was me. Me being shitty. God, think of how shitty um, Death Mountains are going to be with all the cave entrances. Just pure, pure chaos. So we'll try to avoid that for now. Let's uh, keep on checking out that area, though. Around Kakairiko. Because there are many doors there. Many doors can lead to many treasures. We do have four hearts, though. That should, uh... Should, should get us going there. Anyway, I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas Eve so far. I know it's, like, only noon. <laughs> or, uh, 1, 1 p.m., where I am, anyway. So not too much time has passed. I'm just hanging out here. I got my dog right on my feet. She really wants attention. She sits where my legs would be on my bed. So, like, you know, I'm sitting like an Indian, cross-legged. Oh, she's just practically on top of me. She's not she's not a small dog. She is 50 pounds. So when she wants affection... Oh, wait, how the fuck... Oh, God. <laughs> wait a minute, I just saw the implications here. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. All right, well, okay, okay. So there is an exit that will take me there. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's terrible. It's 11.27 p.m. for me. Okay, so it's like practically Christmas for you. Right on the dot. At least that's the celebration. Uh, assuming it was right at midnight. 
Was it specified in the New Testament? Uh, what? Oh god. Oh shit. Was that the Slime Palace? Oh shit. Oh god. Slime. Slime Palace equals library. Okay. Or no, no, no. Library equals. Sli oh, I mean, I guess, yeah, same thing. Is this the night of Christmas, yes? I don't think it was ever specified. Alright, so now we're in the Lost Woods, and if we go back in here... Alright, Thief Cave, so he'll give me something. And we also get a whole bunch of rubies. Which we desperately need. Oh god. Well, that's gonna be fucking obnoxious. So you, like, busted down my door and are being a jerk by talking to me? Normally, I would be angry and make you pay for it. But I bet you're just going to break all my pots and steal all my rubies. Alright, is that really it? Alright, well, shit. Uh, that's, that's a decent ruby farm, though, honestly. I'm not sure if that responds. I, uh, actually don't even remember if it responds. But there's another entrance right here. Oh! Oh! So grass and water. Grass and water are very fucking bad. Oh my god. That must make me want to fucking vomit, dude. Oh! Alright, um, another note. Dark world entrance equals, um, hole, or pit hole, let's call it pit hole, in Lost Woods. Alright, actually, let's, uh, let's look at the map, let's see what, yes, it's all, the whole, the whole color palette is pink and green. We really are in Candyland, Zelda. That's interesting. So, like, in the original game, is the Dark World just a reverse palette light world? I have, uh, I had not known that. Oh, shit, I can't even pick things up. Damn. Alright, well, uh, hmm. Well, that way is a dead end. Our only option is over here. But there is a fucker in the way who's going to eat at my health. Oh, that's a lot of entrances, dude. Um, we were... No, this is a Dark World version. We had not been in the Dark World version of this, but it's the same thing, essentially, as the Light World version, so... Oh, no! Come on, give me a break, motherfucker. Am I still in the Dark World? Oh, my God. So this is a shop. No, it's not. The, what I just came out of is a shop. Which, I mean, I guess I could buy bombs. Um, do I want to buy bombs? I mean, I guess this is good to have. Uh, later on, I will have more rupees. So let us just try to avoid everything. And pick up some bombs. God damn, fucking 50 for 10. It's fucked up, dude. Um, if we use these right, then this should be all we need. And then we can just start saving money for all the bullshit in Kagariko. Now the question is, where can we go exactly it's a good question oh, come on dude please please ah god death mountain always was bullshit it really was <laughs> like if you're on the stairs you just have to cross your fucking fingers man even in the original game all right so let's just uh and i guess i guess we still have yet to fuck with kakariko let's see if we can make it in one piece we can also fuck with the castle. We can fuck with the marsh. Both are good locations. Mini doors, potential for a lot of uh, items. I'm not even sure how the draining of the marsh is going to work, considering that the marsh drain is at the marsh. I think it only counts as drained if you stay there, so I don't know. Oh my god. Yo, having the ice beam 
the ice rod be the sound effect for the doors. It's a little, little fucky. A little fucky. Alright. First things first is we're gonna use some of our bombs. Oh wait, what's my goose symbol? I wanna see my goose symbol. My goose symbol is just a map. Okay. Kinda weird. That is kinda weird. Why is the goose symbol a map? I'm just gonna switch back to the book just in case. You never know. Huh. What is this? Oh! Alright, um, that's not bad. Alright, well let's uh let's see if we can do this in one go. Let's use all four of my brain cells and <laughs> goose with the holy bible. Spreading the word of Christmas. In its original meaning. Hey, alright, so uh what is that? 20%? It's not bad. Although yeah, I kinda prefer a weapon, even if it's just a hammer. I, think I, was, I was talking about this when I was streaming Link to the Past. Oh, god damn! When I was streaming Link to the Past normal, right? I was talking about how... Oh, okay. The first time I played a randomizer, I had, like, the first weapon I got instead of the sword was the Bombos Medallion. And I had never really understood how fucking good that is. Oh, the bow, the bow, the bow. Okay. Good, good. We're gonna have to... Be very careful about it, though. The Southwest DM Foothills Cave leads to a connector. All right, I'll, I'll just accept it. I'll just accept it. I'm not gonna question it. Oh, look at that! Oh, 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 oh! Ho, ho. <laughs> oh man, that's like the Aghanim teleport sound. Holy shit, that's terrible. Oh man. I'm not even gonna use my bow just because. I don't know. Oh shit, god damn it. Yeah, Skull Woods are gonna really suck. Alright, no point of fucking around over there. Wait, does this. I need to ask myself the question of if these places go back to where I. Oh no, they don't. Oh, come on! <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! I think they need to work on the randomized entrances. It doesn't quite, <laughs> it doesn't quite work. Out of something about it, I can't put my finger on it. Did I go in here? Yeah. All right. So let's see. Uh, fairy. Yeah. Oh wow, those things hurt. Randomized damage might have been a bad idea. I wish I could just teleport to a... <laughs> this is why you don't play Zelda as a goose. Geese are very easy to kill, apparently. Hmm. Um, shit. I guess I guess we should check out Kagariko while I can remember which areas I have checked out. The issue is that it's really, really shitty. Oh, man. God damn, though. I guess I should prioritize checking out the overworld over going into the doors, but man, the doors could lead anywhere. But the issue is, there's no consistency. Hmm. Anyway, um... Let's see, I cooked myself a nice, a nice Christmas breakfast. During Christmas, everything is Christmassy, and that's the beauty of the beauty of the day. Alright, we got it. We got a couple things here. Let me just avoid you and check this shit out. Um, and I am gonna keep studying and I am gonna keep fucking around with the Raspberry Pi because there are gonna be some Raspberry Pi streams later this month. For 20 rupees, I'll tell you something. How about it? Fuck off. Alright, so this is completely unnecessary. I don't think the only, I think the only thing here is just this house. 
Oh shit, I could buy a uh, shield and a bean and bottle. Does that just like give me a bee or does it give me the bottle too? Huh. Or I might have to uh, remember that. Bottle potential, potential bottle at Lumberjack House. Let's uh, kill this fucker. There we go. There we go. I'm a very talented goose. <laughs> Here's some bird on bird violence, some bird hate crimes. Tis the season. Alright, well I guess I'll just try to keep in mind that I might be able to buy a bottle, maybe, right here. Did I go in here? Did I go in here? I might not have. Oh, what is, uh, what even is this? Oh, this is Turtle Rock. Oh shit, okay, um, let me write that down. Oh god, that's an awful sound. What is that sound? Turtle Rock, <laughs> that's a fucking shit sound, dude. I'm trying to type, hold up, I have to I have to type this out, otherwise we can't forget it. Uh, Kakariko Bar, this is the bar, yes? All right, let's get the fuck out of here after we grab these. Hey, we got a free bomb. Oh my god, that dungeon's gone. Oh no, <laughs> why did you do this to me? Oh god, dude, there's no rhyme or reason, man. So here, oh, I just got juked. I just got worked. Damn, randomized damage was a, uh, that was a fucking mistake. <laughs> that was a very big mistake. Oh, man. All right, I should just try to, try to use my bows when I have them. Um, we got to keep checking out Kagarika while I remember which places we've checked out. I like the sound effect of the drop, though. That's nice. Because it's so long that you only really hear it after you've already landed. It almost sounds like an old-school Dragon Ball Z sound effect. Oh, ooh, shit. Come on. Hey, look at that. Killing slugs as a goose with a bush. Welcome to Zelda. Once again, if, if you want to try the Christmas palette, just head to the website. I think it's just uh, ALTTP. A link to the past. Uh, Rando.com. I think something like that. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, because this is the only back entrance in the game, so this would be the same. Ah, we got the Blunik! And our sprite did not change. Huh. Really? Alright, well, I mean, I guess what else is gonna happen? We are, in fact, a goose. Here we are, we got some nice screen tearing. Thank you, uh... RetroPie. Once again, I, I love the Raspberry Pi. I'm like, I'm one of the biggest supporters of the Raspberry Pi, but um, for a long, long time, people have acted like it's got perfect emulation, which it definitely does not. This is Christos Hut. He's out searching for a bow. I guess we'll check this out. Hey, look at this. It's a bar. No good. Does he give me anything? Does he give me anything? I think, like, after you. Like, talk to his son, he might give you something. Huh. Alright. I like how there's just no bartender. They just have free access to all the booze. Honestly, that's pretty great. Um, alright. So then we have this place. Oh! Wait a minute. <laughs> well... Oh, because they're supposed to be roosters? Is that Oh, no. Hold up. It's a very haunted, haunted place. Yeah, we're going to have to really conserve our bows, huh? Or our arrows. Hey, never mind. <laughs> this. I would have preferred a weapon, but still. I mean, I guess I can't really complain too much. As long as it's keeping me in the game. 
got another rupee. I think it was ten. Oh, all right. So this door is nothing. You need three more rupees. And oh, no. no. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, that's painful, man. <laughs> that's fucking really painful. All right, so we have another shop, which is always nice. Oh, wait, can we buy a shield? I think we have a shield, yeah? Do we have a shield? No, we don't. Wait, you don't have a shield? Really? Does your uncle give you the shield in the game? I don't even remember, motherfucker. Alright, well we'll have to remember that we need to buy a shield. Fuck. Not that the shield helps that much. I mean, the uh, red shield, I think, helps, but not, uh, not the base one. Alright, we got spooky ghosts. Oh god, no! <laughs> Let's not go that way. That is a bad way. Alright, so I don't think this guy says anything. Wow, this is, like, really obnoxious. So everyone's just gonna tell me about connectors. Oh, I can't use it, because I'm a fucking... I'm a red goose. Red geese can't use items. Oh, fuck, that sucks. Oh, man, that is a really obnoxious sound effect. It's like the Nintendo sound effect when you... Oh, no, I can't even open! Oh, my God. Alright, so unless it's out in the open... I can't even fucking use the Dark World. Alright, so Moon Pearl is definitely essential. Even though I can kind of see that I have the Moon Pearl in my mouth. My goose mouth. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like really fucking bad, dude. It's bad in the original game, it's, it's worse when it's the... Oh god. Alright. Save and quit. Get me out of the cell. Shit, what door was that? Fuck, what door was that? Can't even remember. Oh man. Um It was like it was second from the top line of houses. Ah, motherfucker, dude. It's already gone. See, this is why you have to play. The Triforce version, if you're doing the, like any, honestly, any fucked up version, you really should just do the Triforce version, Triforce pieces. Obviously, doing a full run is great if it's your first time in a randomizer, but it is very fucking long. So going the Triforce route, much beneficial. You get you get like a little taste of the randomizer experience. That having it be like ten to twenty, uh, ten to. 15 hours of gameplay. I think it was this one? Yeah, it's this one that we went in. And that leads us to a fucked up place. Let's try this one. Oh no, we. Oh god, it was this one. Son of a bitch. God damn it. I. Shit. Shit. God damn it. That was the one. All right, all right. Um, bush house. Okay, let's let's write that. Dark world entrance equals Kagariko bush house. All right, so we we are getting infer in infer. <laughs> We're getting some infer. <laughs> We're getting some info here. Uh, not really much beyond my 18 arrows and a bow. And my Bible. Don't forget the Bible. You gotta spread the Christmas cheer. See, Kakariko has so many fucking options. I wish he could just spawn in there. I, I don't. I actually don't know why that's not an option in the original game. I guess the sanctuary is close enough, yeah. Sanctuary is usually close enough, but in this version, sanctuary fucks me off to Death Mountain. Which isn't, isn't exactly the best case scenario. But yeah, later this month I'll be doing some 
like a video on their Raspberry Pi 400 uh, Raspbian OS. I think it'll be it'll be interesting. I, I like it personally. Oh, nice. I like that. I like the pink. Kind of hurts my eyes. Hey, look at that. All right, 25% the way there. Wait a minute. All right, can't really. Oh, is this like a one-way? Ah, I think this is a one-way. Like, it's just kind of meant to tease you if you can't get to it. Alright, well still, there we are. 25% the way there. Yeah, I remembered. Find rupees. I need them. So, how much is the Indian Man one? Fuck, I think it's like 100 rupees. God damn it, I wish they didn't switch around the tech so fucking much. Oh, come on, you fucking bitch! Didn't even talk to her. There we are. Stave that motherfucker right through. So I can't go in there now. Wow, that really sucks. Alright, okay, so I have to remember to go back in that house. Yeah, you don't really need to do this in the original game. The original game gives you so many rupees right off the bat and it just never lets up. If you're just a little bit curious of where you need to search, you'll uh, you'll be fine. The original game. I like the original game, but one thing I found when I was playing through recently. All right, we'll go through here. Was that I think I actually like Ocarina of Time more. Oh fuck. Alright, we need those arrows. Hey, beautiful. Yeah, I actually like Ocarina of Time more. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a good game. Desu. Oh, ho, ho. that sucks. Wow, that really sucks. There's a fucking, pr oh man, we have to, we have to get there though. Oh shit, alright. Well, that's convenient. Alright, what the fuck? What can we do? Oh god, no, 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 mm -hmm. What a fucking asshole. Shit. It's a weird thing, I'm like technically in the dark world, but I'm not in gay goose mode. Fuck. Dude, oh, wait, wait. am I just like dumb? I might just be dumb here. There has to be an easy way to get this. There's no way this is mandatory damage. Or no, this isn't a spike originally. Fuck! <laughs> this isn't a spike originally. Shit. Oh god. <laughs> dude, my death counter is gonna be like 100, dude. Hold up, hold up. One, one more time, one more time. I think you have more. Oh god, dude! Oh, that hitbox! Fuck off, dude! Oh please, 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 just, just put me in, Captain. Just put me in, Coach. I can do this. Hey, there we are. All right, we got, it, we got, it, we got it. Oh god, damn it! Yo, the hitbox is fucking huge. Holy shit! Or maybe just the... Like, I'm a little bit off just because I'm a goose and not... Not a small boy. I don't want to fucking kill this thing, though. Alright, alright, alright. Hey, we got a small key. Hmm. Hmm. All right, fuck it. I'll accept it. So I can't go in there. I think that's a one-way door, actually. Either that, or we can move this thing. But I'm not entirely sure. All right. Or maybe there's a switch? Huh. I don't know. I have no idea. 
Alright, we're going up here, and we might be able to get another present. I have no idea how much this thing's gonna fuck me up. Yo, I have the blue tunic too, that's crazy that thing fucked me up so much. Um, I don't even know what's up there, but still, we now have 6 out of 20. It's progress. Oh, come on, please! Huh. Alright. Well, it seems that any dungeon with multiple entrances is really, really, really fucked up. And maybe... Maybe, like, V-Torp and them could work on that. Oh, shit! Damn, motherfucker. This is gonna be more than I've ever, ever used... ...the bow ever in my life. As the original game, in my humble opinion... The bow is kind of worthless. Or maybe I've just seen it never use it properly, but I don't know. Alright, these things suck. Shit. This... Oh shit, okay. I have no problem with you. So, there's that area to the right. That down there. Think this is what we want? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. And yeah, we do have enough to potentially buy a B. I mean, I guess if you need a bottle to hold it, I guess I'll just stop you. A shield would be nice. We also need to save up for whatever the salesman is buying. And, all right, so there's a little heart there. Um, without the mirror, this is pretty pointless. Uh, so there's up there and up there. Let's double check here, though. Yeah, so it should be. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god! Dude, it makes no goddamn sense. Yo, this <laughs> this is legitimately fucking broken, dude. Nope. Fuck off. But I'll love to take your uh I know treasure chest. Weird. I thought there's gonna be treasure chests here for sure. Alright, ten bombs, ten arrows. Not not awful, not terrible. Um, so what else is there to do up here? remember. Oh shit, we have the book. We can actually do this. Hey. Oh wait, no. We need a sword. Fuck. Yeah, you need to like hold the sword up above. Yeah, shit. So without the master sword, that is useless. We could hop down here. But I mean, we could just teleport to the sanctuary and also get up there if we can manage to climb up the stairs without dying. Which, how much damage does the do the rocks have to be doing though? Clearly, a metric fuckton if I have the blue tunic and it's still one-shotting me. All right, so this just takes me to confusing places. Let's try in here. What's up, Lissa? The book by itself lets you know what item it holds. Oh, a rupee. Ah, okay, okay. So it's letting me know all I would get was rupees. Which isn't terrible, actually. I could use money. What's up, Lissa? How are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a fine Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. Alright, um... We do actually want a shield, though. We do need a shield. All right, let's try the other the other hidey hole. So I think there's nothing else down there. I finally got some decent sleep, so doing good. Nice. Yeah, I um, I don't know. I just like woke up very early and couldn't go back to sleep, so I'm a little bit sleep deprived. Uh, we have a map of Turtle Rock. Nice. I 
don't think there's any caves up here, yeah? Oh god. Well, let's duck in here real quick. Let's duck in here, you get it? No. <laughs> I apologize, so hold up. Oh no! God damn. So that does two and a half hearts with the blue tunic. Which means with the green tunic, that's doing... What, five hearts of damage? Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, we can just go back to Sanctuary. Let's do, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can he heal me? I think he can if I'm a little fucked up. Yeah, there we are. Okay. That's good. Oh, we still need to check out the rest of Kakairoko as well as... Yes, that takes me right there. Weird. We need to check out the rest of Kakairoko. As well as Hyrule Castle. I mean, we have to check out everywhere, to be fair, but... In particular. So what exactly happens when I go in here? I go in here. And we have a different place. And we did not check this out, because I just left and it took me to the desert ruins, I believe. Here's a pro strat for you right there. Not that you can do a whole lot here, but... You can get some rupees. It's always nice. Um, sh shit. So how should I list that? Um, let me write that down. Uh... Top cave on light mountain equals invisibility cave. Alright, so that's another note on the books for us. So to the right is nothing. To the left is nothing. I don't think there's any... Yeah, there's not jack shit over there. Oh god damn, dude. In here... God, I have to like rem remember what the fuck is going on here. Wasn't there some way that like took us to the... Desert Palace? It's like this one? I don't even remember, dude. It's very confusing. Maybe it was this one? No, that was just a shop. Okay. God, it's like hard to remember this shit. It really is. I am keeping some notes with me. But anyway, yeah, when I do the Raz... Uh, Raspberry Pi 400 slash Raspbian. Oh my god, yeah, this isn't making any goddamn sense. Slash Raspbian video. It's just gonna be me showing off and talking about the Raspberry Pi and what exactly it is and what it does showing off Raspbian and the shit you can do. Um, I think there's like Minecraft on that thing. Show off. It'll just be like more like a tech video, you know? But personally, I'm very, very excited for that. Oh god. Yeah, I guess that's it. It's like all that's here. So let us save and quit. And then... Yeah, let's check out Hyrule Castle, right? Because there's only one, one entrance, the front entrance we have access to. So it might be something good, who knows. But, uh, what else? What else am I gonna do? I already have the thumbnails done for the top 10 videos for the year. So we're doing a top 10 most surprising games that I played this year. Top 10. What the fuck? Hello, Fist. I am Murahadala, brother of Sahasarala, and again. Behold the power of invisibility. Wait, you can see me. I knew I should have hidden in a hollow tree. If you bring... 22. Okay, okay, so this is where I bring the Triforce pieces. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. That's where I cash in for the endgame. Um, shit, so as I was just saying. Yeah, so, uh, top 10 most surprising games I've streamed. Top 20 disappointing. And then top 10... 
uh, what? Most conflicting games. Games I have mixed feelings on. I feel like that's, uh, better than doing, like, a top ten... Like, you know, best games and worst games, because then I'll just talk about the same generic shit that everyone always talks about. Oh, okay, so that actually takes me into Hyrule Castle. But does it take me out of Hyrule Castle? Um, kind okay. Well, I guess we're doing... Oh, no. What in the fuck? Alright, well, let's write that down. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um... What is this, the Dark Palace? Dark Palace equals Enter Hyrule Castle Stairs Leave Enter <laughs> There we are, it's like it's like the Konami code, only how to fucking walk into See I can't even open I can't even open anything. I might as well just leave. Which wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute. Oh wait, no, I can leave. Alright, well Imagine that. Did we go into the lumberjack house? I know we went to the lumberjack house in the dark world. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> oh, come on, please, dude. Oh, this is terrible. Yeah, welcome, welcome to this shit. It's in. Oh my god. Oh wait, whoa. Okay, shit. I was writing. I was writing shit. Um. I'm writing notes, so we'll just let him uh, fuck with us. Uh, Skull Palace. Also in. Where is this? Lumberjack House? Light Lumberjack House. Alright. Alright, hand, stop fucking with me, dude. Entrance Rando with Light Dark World mixing seems like it's going to be brutal. That is why this is entitled the cancerous the cancerous run because well oh come on dude because i knew exactly what i was in for please no please i, w I just wanted to like make the most painful cock and ball torture uh oh god please play through i possibly could Here's what we're gonna do. Now, save and quit. And we are going to try the main castle entrance. And then next time we go down the stairs to the castle entrance to actually get in the castle, we're actually gonna stay in the castle. I like the big hands. The wall masters? Dude, those things suck dick. Those are, like, those are the worst enemies in the game, dude. They're so annoying. They're like the worst in every Zelda. I, I don't think they were that bad in the original Zelda. Only because they only popped out if you're standing right on top of the wall. Oh. Wait a minute. We've been here before, though. Oh, God. They grab you and take you places. <laughs> nice, I like it. I didn't think about it that way. Oh, shit! What the fuck, dude? Alright, so we went down the hole, and it took us to bad places. What happens if we walk into the, uh... Alright, so it's nothing. Okay, okay. Although, if we had a grappling hook, we might be able to do that. Um, let me actually make that note. Um... With grappling hook, um, go into cave next to Kakariko Well. <laughs> they grab you at certain places too. Yes, I too want to get fondled. I mean, I guess if you're really desperate, you can just you know, put your dick near the wall and then just hope. Okay, cool. This. Is one of the best things in the game right here. Can I just do it like this? Ah, oh, yeah, buddy. All right, seven out 20, what is that? Someone math that out for me. 35%, yeah? 
It's not so bad. And we went in here and it took us into the castle. Let me leave. And no. 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 No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god, alright, uh... Gotta go left door to door hut equals turtle rock big chest and castle. <laughs> my disappointment has ruined my days and immeasurable. Dude, I'm like, I, I don't know how the fuck you could do this. This is like a real rough, a real rough thing I've set up for myself. What's more, I have, I have a Bible, some bombs, and a bow. So that's, that's pretty much all I can rock with. Um, we could go down and see if there's anything for us in the dark world left side. I'm not sure what's on the right side though. Are the world portals randomized too? I don't even know. I feel like it's broken, honestly. I don't think it's supposed to be like this, Lissa. It just is like this. And yeah, we were already over there and we got, we got gang banged. Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta remember, there's really no point for me to even be in the dark world, unless it's like, just lying there for me. I can't really interact with anything. We can go into a couple different places. 50 rupees, that's nice. Um, I'll just remember that. Yeah, no, I'll just fucking make a note. 50 rupees in... Off left ledge in dark world mountain. I hope these notes make sense to future me. I don't know if that happens to you guys where you'll leave yourself notes on a sticky note and you'll just read that months later and be like, what the fuck am I talking about? So upstairs, this leads me upstairs. Well, this seems relatively safe. There aren't giant rocks coming down to knock out two and a half hearts off my health bar. Which is an improvement, to be fair. You know what that always reminds me of, like right here? This kind of reminds me of in Ocarina of Time where there's, you know, you make the light bridge to Ganon's place. But this is really for nothing, which is kind of weird. Looks like a potential bridge spot, but I don't know. Like maybe it was just there for an idea they had and just never really became anything. Uh, generally, there should be some options for the randomizer unless you pick total chaos. <laughs> unless you pick total chaos mode, which is what it seems like. Yep. I I mean I've done a randomizer before. That's why I wanted to do a fucked up version. I because I've kind of played randomizers to death, but. Fuck, I can't even pick those up if I wanted to. <laughs> Goose mode. Alright, so... Uh, what are we doing then? I think there's like one more door we haven't checked out and... Oh god. <laughs> god, my dog is so fucking cute. Right now my dog is stretched out so her legs are on my laptop. And she's chasing rabbits in her sleep, so she's kicking them. She's really cute. She's a very good dog. I feel like people who don't have pets don't realize how awesome they are in the winter. Because they're just very warm. It's kind of like in the olden days where they used to, like, take a pan of coal or some shit to heat up some motherfucker's bed. You just, you just get a dog. Same, uh, same difference. Um, let's try to go into there. I'd love to have a pet. They work like a furnace. Oh, absolutely. And I like dogs. I like cats. I like them all. Um, shit. God damn it. Fuck you, you bitch. 
And now, oh no, no, why, why though? Oh god, this is, <laughs> it's like fucking can't, no, oh my god, actually we can probably do something with this, okay. Imagine playing this when you're tripping balls. It'd be a bad trip, Gaseous. Anyway, how are you doing, Gaseous? Merry Christmas, buddy. Hopefully you're doing well, and I almost died. I don't want to find out how much damage those fuckers do. Probably like 20 hearts worth. So I cannot do anything with that. But what I can do is... Yeah, jump right off the thing. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Absolutely. Like, maybe this is how it's supposed to be. But no, there's like some rhyme. There's some rhyme to it. Like, you know what it is? It's if there's more than one entrance to a certain place. Like, there's multiple ways to get into the castle, right? There's multiple ways to get into Skull Dungeon. It's not coded right. Oh, it's, look at this. It's the giant octopus. I love the giant octopus. You guys see the giant octopus? I see the giant octopus. Merry Christmas, I'm doing okay. Feeling good today for a change? Nice, dude. Fucking A. It's a Christmas miracle. That's how you have to look at it, buddy. Oh, um, oh! Alright, well that's going on the notepad. Okay. Ganon's Tower equals leftmost cave on path to light desert. All right, uh, should we do something? I mean, we have a key. We do have a single key, so we might be able to do some of this shit. We're getting snow too, a white Christmas to boot. Nice, dude, fucking A. Now, right now it's like, it's pretty fucking cold where I am, but it's not, uh, yeah, the weather's been kind of going ape shit. Left and right and up and down. Um, let's go to the left. Let's go to the right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't have to open up that door, because we can just go down. A key to Santa. <laughs> there are there are certain ways that like you can optimize your run to have extra keys. So like this. So this door. Let me see if I can show you. So yeah, so that door right there is right where I was, so you actually don't have to use the key there to give yourself an easier time in the dungeon. Now, I'm not a fucking expert at this game, far the fuck from it. But I know I know a couple things, and there's a uh, giant glitching gas cloud. And we can't really do anything here, good, alright. Well, we might be able to go upstairs. We do have one key. Maybe we can get something else. Oh, and shit, we might have enough to uh, buy something from the Indian men. Oh, God. All right. Hey. Shit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. what am I doing? I'm a fucking idiot. There, <laughs> there we are. 200 IQ, boys. Oh, God. Shit. Come on. Come on, little fucker. Hey. Alright. My ex loves Link to the Past. I should recommend this to her. Oh, the randomizer? The randomizer's great. I posted a link in the Discord, Gaseous. Um, the link I posted, though, was specifically to the Christmas version, but the... You know, it's all the same, you know what I mean? Like, you can just fuck with the R I, you know, URL. It's all the same website, is my point. Oh, come on, dude. There we are. Oh, God. My stomach. Oh, God. Come on, dude. Seriously? Oh, my God. Dude, they, they do so much damage. Yeah, randomized damage is a mistake. I do have the blue tunic. And they are still one-shotting me on four hearts. Which is to say they do, at minimum... Four hearts worth of damage. Uh, should we, I keep trying here? I mean, I feel like I'm gonna... Uh, let's try a little bit more. You never know when you're gonna get... What you're gonna get, rather. Ooh. 
There we go. And let's see, we can throw this there. I'm a very talented goose. I can balance pots on my goose snout. As the academic term. I am a biologist. Oh god, wait, what? Oh, shit, okay. Um, damn. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, uh, genius. I'm like Hideo Kojima over here. Galaxy brand. So smart. Uh, indeed, anyone who really likes a game... Oh god. Ah! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Scrawled out of the fucking floor. Okay, that's one. That's two. No, you fucker. No! Oh my god, alright, I'm just wasting all my shit. We need to ignore that boy. Um, let's see, listen, Marifei is saying, uh, anyone who really likes a game should try Reno of that game. It's a much different experience worth trying. Yeah, I think Zelda in particular really works a lot. Although I have tried, um, honestly, my favorite randomizer is... Mario RPG. Mario RPG randomized is 10 out of 10 if you've ever played it. What the fuck, dude? So I really had to kill this thing, huh? Damn it! That was my last arrow, too. Fuck! Ah, jeez. Alright, well, that is that, as they say, to quote that one dude from Final Fantasy X. That old motherfucker. God damn it. Did I go in here yet? I feel like I probably have. Oh, hello, hello. Hmm. All right, uh, let's write that shit down. I never got RPG to work. That was years ago. You should try again. Yeah, it's um, it's good if you can get it working. Um, I, I didn't have too much trouble with it, but maybe when you tried it, maybe it was just like a beta. When I tried it, it was finalized. Maybe. I don't know. I did look it up, and it did seem to have gone through some changes. Give it like an open world. You know, so you can go to any location. Let's see. Um, uh, bomb slash arrow upgrade equals... Mid section of light mountain left ledge cave. There we are. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so that's. Wasn't there like somewhere to the right, though? Yeah, there was. Shit. I think it's just a fairy found, though, yeah? Yeah, just a fairy found, still. So. Oh, that's a good. That's a good sound. I keep, for <laughs> I keep forgetting the water in this game is the Aghanim teleport sound. And the grass is the low heartbeat. This is a good seed. Alright, we get more fairies. Alright, so what should we do here? Can't really do anything. Oh no! Oh god, no! Thought I had the, uh... I had the bow equipped, and I just remembered that I have no more arrows, which kind of sucks a little bit of dick. Dude, fairies on fairies. It's like Fairy Mountain, dude. <laughs> Insert gay joke there. God damn it. <laughs> God damn. All right, what am I supposed to fucking do? Am I just in... Oh, God, I'm in gay baby jail again. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, my God. <laughs> what fresh hell is this? Oh, my God. Randomized enemies and random... Oh, no. All right, well, we can... <laughs> Shit. We can check out the uh, the rest of the, um, the town. So that's that. Yeah, uh, it just needs... Oh, God. Fucking bitch. 
They need to work on how entrances work. Anywhere that has multiple entrances leading into the same place. Skull Dungeon, uh, Death Mountain, um, Hyrule Castle. Those places are just pure, pure chaos. Shit, I need a hundred rupees for that guy, really? Fuck. Did I go down here? Fuck, I can't even, I can't even remember. We did. Okay, we did get that. Alright. I think the left one was the chaos one? Or was it the right one? Um, I don't even want to buy the shield, honestly. The uh, regular shield, I'd rather save up to see what the... the bottle man is selling me. Alright, so let's do, let's do the castle. That's good. This is a good place. Oh god. There's just no rules. <laughs> this isn't Nam, this is Link to the Past. There are rules. Alright, so we could go in down there, but we do not have the lantern. Which means it would not be very good to do. Oh, wait, is there even a way to get down to the basement? There is, there is, because he brings Zelda up, yeah? Yeah. It's uh, around back. I think. Yeah, like you drop down, walk around, yes, I think, <laughs> maybe. I am just a Christmas goose who escaped from the dinner table and decided to commit jihad with bombs. No! No! Hey, look at that! <laughs> Aloha snack bar is right, my friend. We all need more Hawaiian-themed snack bars for our Christmas celebrations. Alrighty then, I do have bombs, I can- oh, nice! Hey, like a fucking pro! Alright, so that's that. We can do the tutorial room, although I'm not entirely sure how exactly this is even gonna work. Oh, <laughs> nice! <laughs> Just throw this shit anywhere. In this world, Ganon is actually Salvador Dali. He likes to make sure that his his traps make no goddamn sense. Really? Shit! Hey, look at that! Figuring it out. Oh, come on, dude. Seriously? He got the big key for the ice palace. Hmm. All right. After a certain point, this game just kind of becomes meaningless. You know what I mean? <laughs> you just kind of accept it. All the chaos. Uh, my uncle is still somewhere, though. It's like Jackie Chan in Shanghai Noon. Who killed my uncle? Shit. <laughs> Shit. No. That was Wingnut. He killed your uncle. Wow. It's my best, uh... My best Owen Wilson. I know it's not not very good. No, fuck! Oh my god! Ah, oh, that's painful. God damn it! Wow! 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 That's a, that's a very nice. Should I like go and like mine hearts, or can I like? Maybe I can sneak by. Do not mind me, I'm just a goose, I'm just a goose! <laughs> Jesus Christ. There will be no waterfowl in this castle under Ganon's watch. Alright, fuck. This is... 
<laughs> this is hard, man. Hold up, hold up. Huh? 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 We juke your asses. Why? Why only one? No! No! <laughs> Sometimes the game fists you instead. Oh my god, dude! The damage output is unreal! Fuck! I just need to get back there and try to kill that octopus. No! No, 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 no! No, no! Like some sort of flesh demon. So once again, I do have the blue, the blue male. I, I wanna, I wanna emphasize that. So the little, little jellyfish things are doing about six, ooh, six hearts worth of damage. God, I just wanna see what's in there. It could be anything. It's probably just shit, but still. Oh yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. There's a chance we do have three bombs. We need to do our best to not die. I mean, I guess I'll just lob bombs at the... the, the Octorok. There we are. I think I can just make a beeline. To where we were. I'll tell you what, the um, treasure chest reward sound for the pots shattering make it that much more rewarding to just smash all sorts of ceramic pottery. Right, let's avoid this fucker. Yeah, pro tip, you can actually kill those things with bombs. I didn't even know that. Because, uh, you know, you kind of get conditioned to not even fuck with shoes. Speaking of shoes, it's been a long time since I played Wind Waker, but even longer since I played... Uh, Ocarina of Time. Um, I, I really don't want to fuck with you, dude. Oh my god. Everything is so hard to hit, especially... No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. With the fear of fucking god in me. There we go. Oh, man. Been a while since you've blown the old cockerina. Oh yeah, I'm I'm in the mood to blow some cockerina. Maybe maybe next year. Maybe next year we'll do some streams. All right. Well, that is that. We are almost halfway done this run, which is surprising. I might actually be able to finish this run, honestly, as cancer as it is. Um, shit. So definitely fist house. The sanctuary won't get us anywhere. But I think we are actually done with Kakariko Village. Which, I mean, I guess we can check out the swamp now. Let's check out the swamp. Oh, yeah. So, uh, where do you guys want me to walk? Should I walk in the water or the grass? <laughs> which, which sucks less? I'll let you guys decide. What happened to Link's gardener? <laughs> what happened to Link's gardener who used to live here? Well, I cannot find the gardener. I don't know where he left off, but he should have a goodie for me if I ever do find him. Fuck! This is evil, man. Guess the wall works. Mm. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Hold up, hold up. Okay, okay. So we'll go in here and see what this is. And then we'll check out the right side. What is this? I don't even remember this. What is this? Oh, it's just this jackass. No, fuck off. Oh my god, he's... Crazy octopus man preaching to no one. Um, actually, can we... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's where the the birds usually are. Okay. So now there's just a thief watching the shadows like Batman. 
about this guy? He can't do anything until we bring him some shit. This is Ganon's palace, and that is death. That uh, that'll just one shot you. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what my death toll is. Probably pretty intense, much like a circus. Nice to Paco. He's a nice boy. He just wants to take a nap on the side of the road. No big deal. Um, what was this thing? Didn't I like make a list of this? Yeah, this this uh just leads to the dark world. And it will probably just randomize me endlessly to random ass locations, so let's avoid that. Let's use our bombs on the door over here. Oh god. Please! Please! <laughs> oh my god, dude! Yo! That sucks! I don't want to waste my bombs. It's like, what the fuck else am I supposed to do? I guess just give them, get them all like chasing me and then just fucking circle around, guide them. Like I'm playing some StarCraft back in the olden days. I was never good at StarCraft. I think I got to gold in StarCraft 2. Like the low, absolute low tier of gold. No, 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 no. No, please! Oh, I just wasted two fucking bombs and I really don't have a lot of bombs to waste. Oh my god, dude. All right, I guess we'll try for the ice palace. I cannot enter that cave until until I have a weapon. There's no way, they're like as fast as me, but they have long ass weapons, you know? The second I walk to that cave wall, I'm, I'm cornered. Oh my goodness. Every time I, I scream like a small, small child, my dog looks up in concern and then goes back to sleep. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> please, dude. Now I'm outrunning him. What the fuck? I'm faster than the speed of light all of a sudden. Alright, just avoid you. Wow. 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 Dude. The blue tunic does not do shit. I'm having just as much trouble without it. Alright, we're gonna try one more time. At which point, I don't even know. Um... I actually have no idea. I mean, we're almost halfway done, which is crazy. At this point, you're just playing one-hit Gao mode. Seems like it, holy shit. Yeah, randomized damage was a mistake. God damn it, god damn it. And like, it'd be fine if I had a weapon, you know what I mean? But I do not have a weapon. I have, I have a bomb that I need to save for treasure. All right then, then let's just go to the right. That's where we're, okay, all right, Dick. Do whatever you want. Giant ass flame snake. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Dude, you gotta give me a fucking break. Alright, let's see what's in here. We have okay, we have the Smith. Alright, let's uh make that make that note. Sm um Smith's Hut is now in the top right Lake Hylia store entrance. There we go. Okay. 
Now, can we check out that other area without dying? Good fucking luck. I guess we can if we loop. There we are. Give him, give him the old juke. Wow, those knights really do suck. A lot of asshole. Um, I might want to just grind for 12 more rupees and see what the bottle salesman has in store for me. No, 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 no. Jump up! No! <laughs> Shit. Alright, please, 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 please. Alright, let's just keep, uh, keep wandering. Let's see what's in the Eastern Palace for me. Or I guess I could check out the Witch's side real quick. Oh my god. Just absolute sanity. Oh, I could also walk all the way around. Oh, alright. And see... What's around the actual sanctuary? There's, there's a couple areas we can check out. Um, I think I need to be able to lift rocks in order to visit the King Zora, yeah? Alright, well, this helps. Hmm. I could just find a <laughs> more like boo, Nick. Am I right? I like it. Yeah, so we do need, we do need the, um... The bracelet. In order to do anything here. But we'll we'll check out the graveyard. Check out the graveyard of the sanctuary. Oh, come on, dude. Fuck off. Ten more. Wow. So if if damage output is randomized. Why does everything seem to be doing more damage? Shouldn't there be some enemies that do less damage? You know what I mean? I feel like my, my butthole is getting, getting very much stretched. Clearly I am the one getting fisted today. God damn, that fucking snake. Yeah, so... We're gonna check around the sanctuary. Eastern Palace. And try to get 10 more rupees to buy something. I don't know what it's gonna be though. Oh, god damn it. It's not that way. Oh shit, Jesus Christ, dude. Nintendo really likes their swirly fires bars. Uh, it's a little bit much. Um, shit. What should we check out first? It's a problem. Is at any point these can lead me fucking anywhere. Uh, let's see. Depends on what the top damage the game has set. If it's like 40 hearts, and the average damage will be lethal at this amount of hearts. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's hope that this doesn't take me to the Skull Palace. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Alright, okay, good. <laughs> Shit. I was hiding under a bush this whole time, right by the graveyard. Alright, well. Let's just accept my fate. That was very surprising. Was not expecting that. Let's make that as a. Uh, it's a note. Ganon fight under bush by river graveyard. Alrighty then. So we do not want to go down that bush. That bush is certain death. And we don't even need to fight Ganon. Um, in this mode where you're just getting Triforce pieces, there's, I don't even think there's a reason. Unless you have the... No, no, there's really no reason. It's not like you get an item for beating him. But maybe if we manage to find silver arrows, which we already have the bow. I mean, we could already, we could always try it just for shits and giggles. Okay, all right. That's spooky. That's like if you uh, were playing Mario, 
Mario World and went into Yoshi's house. And it's just the Bowser fight, you know? A little unexpected. A little unnerving. Right, so is there anything we can do here? Um, not really. Not without the... No. Oh, 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 um, no, 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 no. No, we don't want to be in here. I think we need the bracelet in order to do anything here. At least this is more appropriate. You get ghosts, you get spooky boys, you get evil skull sorcerers. But now let's see what the actual sanctuary has in store for us. And it's the... What is it? What is this called? Misery Mire? Um, let's call it Marsh Dungeon. The Marsh, Dark Marsh Dungeon Inside Light Church. There we are. Uh, should we even try this? It's kind of a good question, huh? No, because we need to, like, flood it in order to even do anything here. Hmm. I don't even know how that will work. How would that even work? Oh, God! No! It, it just, you just... Just accept it. Just, just fucking accept it. Um... If I go in here? What do you have to say for me, buddy? Oh, this is the Thief Cave! Alright, well, uh, this... I think... No! Ah, no! <laughs> shit! I thought this was, like, a whole bunch of cool shit. There's one Thief Cave that has a whole bunch of cool shit. Oh my god. I... Mm, I, I, I just don't even know. The f fuck do you even do? How the fuck do you even approach this? Seriously. Uh, we can check the Goatsy house. There we are. Here's the Goatsy house. You see the, uh, the hand stretching apart the asshole. Ready to, to accept a fisting or a prolapse or a dick or a big butt plug. Anything, really. Alright, hey, hey, hey we, can, we can do something here. Maybe this is a little scary, though. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit, dude. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't, motherfucker. Hey. Hey. Andy probably got distracted making coffee. Well, is that with the ether medallion? Okay, there we are. All right, all right. Shit. <laughs> God damn. Hey, we only need five more. That's that's a good thing. No, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know the lore of Annie Worski and his coffee. Does does he put coke in it? Oh, what the fuck is going on here? It's kind of a shame about Andy Warski. He probably could have had a really easy uh, time, and then he decided to just... I don't know. Collapse? With his whole, uh... Who was it that he had it? No, it was like that French guy, yeah? That obnoxious French guy? I know what it is with French guys in their pseudo-intellectualism. Oh god, alright. Well, we have bombs here. Andy would do those streams and would periodically excuse himself to make coffee. He'd be gone for an hour and fapping. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, JF, yes, yes, that guy. That guy's fucking obnoxious, man. I, I never liked that guy. A small key to Tower of Hera can be found within Mothula. Alright. Well, here's some more bombs. And we can now buy... A bottle from the Bottle Salesman. All 
right. Hey, we got the invisibility cape. Um, there's actually we know where the other um the invisibility cave is. We can actually get that one. And we are getting a lot of arrows. Got a bomb again. Hey, we can actually use the arrows to uh, kill those knights and actually bomb that one wall by the lake too. There's actually quite a few things we can do. Um, let's see if we can do this shit here. Hold up. Oh, fuck. Fun fact, JF got seed money from Epstein. True story. I fucking believe it, man. I really do. Uh, he... I don't know, like, I got weird vibes from that guy, you know what I mean? It's important to trust your, uh, your instincts, you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people forget that. Now, I don't think there's anything in that room that I just was in. I don't think. Oh shit, did I randomize bosses too? I think I might have. I think I did. Oh god. Alright, um... I don't think there's anything in that room. I kinda don't want to go back and check. I mean, uh, hmm. Might be worth it checking out, though. Especially if I'm getting a couple arrows for that. Come the fuck on, dude. Oh, man. It's so annoying. Oh, you have to wait 20 Mississippi for it to be actually attackable. It's a good... I guess we should check that. Hey! Um, I wonder... I guess we can probably hold 30. Oh my god. God damn, dude. Yo, it really is everything in the game one hits me. Be really nice if that was not the case, but clearly that's the case. Okay, so 30 is in fact the max amount we can hold. There we are. Three bombs. Oh, God. No reward. Oh, but I have to see what's in here, though. And eventually, we're going to have to try to get to the other side of this dungeon, which I guess we just keep exiting and entering random places and we'll eventually get there. Alright, one more. Shit! <laughs> it's like the uh, the arrow minigame that I also suck at. Fuck! No! Hey, alright, so like I thought, nothing. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit of that in um, Link to the Past, is rooms that have no fucking point to them other than to waste your time. So we can go through here. No! No, motherfucker. Wasting all my goddamn butt. Oh, there we are. Good. Um, not worth it. Alright, so we can unlock that other door. There's an exit there that might take me somewhere out there over the rainbow. What's up, video game player? How you doing today? I am technically a goose. Can't you see my long craning neck? <laughs> How you doing, dude? Hopefully you're doing well. God damn it. Fuck off! Oh my god. Is this a mod? Yeah, this is a randomized uh, version. It's the most cancerous, shitty seed you could possibly roll. So sound effects are randomized. The color palette is randomized. 
Um, entrances to everywhere is completely randomized. Uh, small keys for every dungeon can be found anywhere. But are still specific to the dungeon that they would normally be in. My goal is to find 20 Triforce pieces. And all I have is a bow. At least for now, anyway. Alright, there goes all of my arrows. Doing well to stop, stop by before going to church. Nice, dude. I appreciate you dropping in, man. And let's see what this is. Bombs! Okay, well, more bombs is always nice. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah, that's all my health. So we're gonna see what's in the right door while we hear this delicious, nutritious beeping. I mean, honestly, we should probably see what's down here, though. Wow! That was, that was the wrong idea right there. Should have just took the exit walls right there. Although, I'll tell you what, dungeon pots seem to be a very good place to stock up on bombs and arrows. Seems to be doing me well. God fucking damn it. Um, just started streaming Link's Awakening on Switch, enjoying it so far. Funny how much it looks like the new Pokemon games, though. Yeah. I, um, I thought that the remake of Link's Awakening looked good, honestly. I know when they first showed the art style, a lot of people were being a little bitches about it. And I'm, I, like, am the first one to complain about Nintendo, always. But, uh, some people were a little bit over the top. I thought it looked fine, but I'm a big fan of Link's Awakening. I streamed the Game Boy original a few months back. Uh, people whined about the art style of Wind Wanker 2 originally. Yeah. Now it's weird. I, I just... It, it's Zelda, you know what I mean? Uh, I care about the gameplay and making sure that it's not too fucking easy. That's usually my main qualm with a lot of newer Zeldas, like, um... Link Between Worlds, I thought was a really good Zelda game, but it was too fucking easy. Okay. Yeah, just accept it. Just accept it. Just take it. Just take it, Daddy. Yeah, alright. I think they balance difficulty in Twilight Princess. Yeah, I need to um I need to finish that. I never did finish that game. I played like halfway through. Multiple times. It's a long game. It's a really long Zelda game. I think. Uh so what should I do? Where was the invisibility place? Top cave on Light Mountain. Okay, we we can do that. But first, let us spend the 100 rupees. Oh, we still need to check out the Eastern uh, Palace, like Sahasarala's area, which I think we actually were there for a little bit. But also, important thing, we are now halfway through the randomizer. We have 10 out of 20 Triforce pieces. The issue is I'm not really sure what else we can do. Hopefully there are answers for us in that invisibility cave and the salesman, the nice, friendly Indian gentleman who totally does not want us to buy Google Play cards in order to fix his bank error. I've still watched. I've still been watching a shit ton of Kid Boga recently. All right. Well, that is uh, something. We, we're one away from a fifth art, which would actually be beneficial. Yet to provide Bob's and Vegene, though. <laughs> Absolutely. It is amazing. Um, whenever Kid Boga is talking to an Indian scammer, and then they're just like, "Please, baby, I love you. You're the love of my life. Now, please give me." <laughs> Give me $1,000 in Google Play cards, and then 
I will buy your plane ticket to move in with me in India. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, dude. <laughs> like, fucking chill. Holy shit. Oh, man. It's great. Um, what the fuck can I do? Is there, like, a house down here? Like, a little shop? Yeah, there is. No, no, that's a lumberjack shop. I'm thinking of the Dark World. Um... Shit. Shit. Oh, oh, wait, I can, I can, uh, go down to the swamp area. Alright, alright, um, should I just save for that? And teleport around. Just to make sure we're not missing anything up here. I feel like we might be. Is there, like, a how like, a door over here? I don't even know. Please, for the love of God. I think it was, I think it was over here. Oh, I got, I got to charge into it, son of a bitch. And uh, what was this one? This one was the dark marsh dungeon. Let me, let me hit the R there. I know it said dark mash dungeon. That's where you can get some nice, some nice mashed potatoes with some gravy. Uh, yeah, let's just like save and um, re-enter. I feel like that'll be quicker to warp around. All right, so we are close to five hearts, halfway done. We do have plenty of arrows, plenty of bombs. If we use these liberally, we can actually get to the one cave entrance that's surrounded by knights. That's a nice sound. I like the grass in this world. I don't take damage from this fish, do I? No. Oh, also the bracelet would be really nice. Hey, look at that shit. <laughs> I like that bomb sound. Nope. It's very slight. I like it though. Wait, didn't we talk to this asshole before? Oh no, this is a different guy. No, there's two different uh, bland motherfuckers. All right, at least it takes me out the same entrance. Same way I came in. Do not fuck with me. You don't want to fuck with me. How do you fight like this? Um, <laughs> well, clearly you do what I'm doing, which is you don't fight. The only way to fight, <laughs> the only way to win a fight is to not fight. Like the Bruce Lee of geese. Oh god, no! There we go. Doesn't Ganon require the sword? I don't have to kill Ganon, actually, but, um... The sword is available, I just have to find it. You know what I mean? Let's check out this one first. So I just had to find the sword. The issue is... I don't know where it is. But I don't have to kill Ganon. I, oh, okay. Hmm. Hey, which one of you guys... Oh, wait. Uh, video game player is not even a fucking... Yo, video game player, you want to be a mod? I mean, uh, Gassius will take care of that motherfucker, but, uh, I'll make you a mod anyway. There we are. As long as it's on someone, it'll be a race. It'll be a race to see who can ban that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Who can ban the bot the fastest? There you go. Um, so, here's the thing, is with entrances all gone, video game player, and also all of the rewards are also shuffled. So, the uncle could very well have, I don't know, the hook shot, for example, you know? He could also give me 10 rupees. He could also give me 10 arrows. But even then, even if I knew where the fuck he was, right... 
which I don't. I, I guess I guess it's my point is he could be anywhere, so I don't even know where his uh, little pit is that would bring me to him. But uh, let me let me make a note here. Aganim's tower equals uh, what is this? The left ice rod cave. All right, there we are. Um, had one of those guys on my channel last night. My mod sniped him during my break. Yeah. Um, video game player says, gotcha. I was watching a Pokemon random or eyes or like that on Gab recently. Yeah, this is the worst example of a Zelda randomizer for the record. Ra Zelda randomizer is really, really fun. I just turned everything on to max. I just went fucking crazy with every fucking option, knowing, knowing full well how bad it would be, you know? Because I thought it would be funny, which I mean it kind of is, <laughs> to be sure. I get up to make some coffee and I miss the <laughs> missed banning the bot. It's all good, dude. That's probably what I would do, really. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is I played, I've played like three randomized runs of Link to the Past anyway, so I'm kind of done doing randomized runs of it. Oh man. Alright, so this is set. So this one is actually set to be one thing. Surprisingly. So I figure as like one last thing just to do it this way, because uh, last year for Christmas I did the Christmas version, which it turns Hyrule into snowy Hyrule. Um, everyone is wearing like Santa hats and shit, and all the music is middies of Christmas music. It's pretty cancerous as well, but pretty funny. So now when I'm trying to think of like what games to stream for Christmas, it's like now only Link to the Past comes to mind, even though it's clearly not a Christmas game. Okay, get the fuck away from me. Uh, I wish I could do randomizers on console. Except for me who uses only official copies of games. You could use a flash cart, you know? If you get a flash cart, which is pricey to be fair, but it does give you access to every single game. You could just throw a randomized ROM onto it. Nice. Uh, let's see. Lissa says, happens to me so many times, I feel bots invented coffee. <laughs> just to distract mods sometimes. I like that. Um, let's see. Animal Crossing has a jingle visit, uh, jingle visit today. That's Christmas Day. Yeah, one thing that I always think of, uh, that I have wanted to do for Christmas, um, just that came to mind. I wouldn't do it this year, but maybe next year. There is a game called Fuck, was it what is it called actually? It's this like it's this indie uh civilization management game. Banished. It's called Banished. I'll uh, I'll spell it for you. It's not that it is Christmassy, but it, it it's a very cozy, comfy game. That the main point of the game is to survive through winter. Like when you're kinda of organizing your little ta uh town of like 1700s homies in the middle of fucking nowhere the main goal is that like that you're constantly thinking of is like all right am i prepared for the winter am i prepared for the winter and usually you're not but it's you know, it's a fun game like I, it, it's not amazing but for its price on sale i think it's pretty fair what about the saint save christmas dlc huh is that for, like, Saints Row? And which Saints Row? That's another good question. Which Saints Row? Um, there's also a Nights into Dream mod that's also Christmassy. Saints Row 4, I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, video game player says, I don't know how to load my games onto my computer. Especially cartridge ones. I gotcha, I gotcha. Well, I just download ROMs. <laughs> I, just, I just find the ROMs and uh, fuck with it. Hold up, my dog is having a rough sleep. It's okay. No. She's dreaming of rabbits, and the rabbits are getting away. And she doesn't like that one bit. I know, it's okay, baby. Oh my gosh, she's like, alright, Layla, I eat. It's okay. She's like hardcore in REM right now. Uh, video game player says Crusader Kings also plays Christmas music during this month. Frostpunk is a winter strategy game. It's like that one scene from Snatch. Oh, yeah. 
I'm actually not a big fan of Crusader Kings. Like, I played it, and I've actually put in quite a few hours into it. I don't mind it. I really don't. Wait, what am I doing? Let's, uh, I want to go to the Sanctuary so I can go to the Invisibility Cave. Um, I don't mind Crusader Kings. It's just, after a while, I'm, like, wondering what, what's the point. But it's, it's not bad. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I, I just couldn't really, like, fully get into it, you know what I mean? I prefer EU4 to Crusader Kings. I need to play that. Uh, U Europa Universalis, yeah? Yeah, my viewers want me to do that, but I just want to stick with my official stuff. Maybe I can rip my disc or something. I got you, I got you. No, I'm, uh, I'm very much pro... <laughs> I'm very much pro, uh... The gaming corporations need to go fuck themselves. I'll take what I can, fuck you. I know a lot of people disagree with that, but, uh, yeah, hey. Is it safe? <laughs> is it safe to leave Zelda with the rabbi? I don't know, she is kind of, like, giving me that look of, like, help me. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, so this is what I'm doing. Okay, okay, okay. Cartman? Oh, is that the, um, I didn't watch that, uh, South Park thing. I'm sure it explains why Cartman is a rabbi in, in the future. I mean, I actually haven't watched South Park in, like, years. I just kind of fell out of it. I just stopped being interested, you know? But I love their shit from around, like, the 2000s. You know, like, 2000 to 2009. That was some good shit. The Succubus episode is always great. There we go. Oh, you fucker! Oh my god, really? It doesn't- it doesn't even make sense. Dude, I- I don't see how this is possible, you know what I mean? When it's so- it- it just doesn't make sense. I only watch bits and pieces, I haven't seen their newest special, but I'd like to. Mm. I got you, I got you. No, this is gay baby jail. Yeah, I can't really do anything here. I remember this. Fuck, dude. Um, any series that goes over seven se seasons becomes unwatchable. Uh, I'll agree with that, Cassius. Huh. I guess we can check out the Eastern Palace, and we haven't really fully checked out the Lost Woods. Huh. Shit. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just trying to, like, run through my brain of, oh, god, you fucker. I'm trying to run through my brain what all the options are for me to do things. I guess it's just, oh, wait, there's, oh, shit. There's also, like, a cave, yeah? There's, like, a cave entrance over here. Normally, the randomizer will limit one-way paths that already have a path. But setting to full random will skip that logic check, hence while you're getting weird at changes of entrances. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's very, very fucking confusing. I think that's all that's here, yeah? Oh! God fucking damn it, dude. Oh my god. Everything just fucking one-hits me, holy shit. So wait, is there anything over there at all? Let's see. Or is it just stairways down? No, it's just a stairway down. Okay. We can still check it out. Alright. So we're gonna check out that cave entrance. Wow! Wow! It's- it's crazy, the damage output. I'm surprised to see the goose has so many sprite animations. Oh, dude, when you're choosing a randomizer video game player, there are, it's, it's got to be at least like 400 different sprites you can choose from. I've played this game as Sailor Moon, I've played this game as Psyduck, I've played this game as, well, this is fucking stupid by the way. I've played this game as Psyduck, I've played this game as Sailor Moon, I've played this game as uh, um, Garfield, that's a fun one. Your Dark World equivalent when you're playing as Garfield is Odie, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty great. You think this rando is cancer? Try Final Fantasy 4 Total Random. That one is bullshit. 
I've been curious of trying Final Fantasy V randomize. Uh, just because Final Fantasy V is such like a already a unique game with the job system, you know? Uh, also, just as a shout out, if you've never played a Final Fantasy game, I strongly, strongly recommend 9, 5, 6, and 10. Yeah, 9, 5, 6, and 10 are probably the, uh, the ones I would recommend the most. I'm a big fan of the Final Fantasy series. Played about, I mean, I should say I was I was a big fan of the Final Fantasy series before it went to shit around 13. I mean, I guess. Wow, wow, dude. What about Empty's favorite X2? I've never played X2. I, I avoided that one. Even 12, I, I only played like the first third of 12. 12 is just kind of weird. But um. Oh, please. Yo, that's that's painful. I do appreciate the little fraction at the top. That's the number of uh, chests that I've opened so far. That is appreciated to let you know. All right, all right. There we go. All right. I just gotta like play smart. I gotta focus and play smart. Eight was my last. Nine and up never interests me. Nine is fucking incredible. Nine is really, really good. I strongly recommend it. Sincerely. I mean, if it's like the art style or something that you're not interested in, there's not a whole lot I can do to change that for you, but I will say Nine is really, really, really good. And if you're looking, if you're ever in the market for a JRPG, that's admittedly very text heavy. And obviously not spoken word. Oh, fuck. All right. It's uh, it's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, X10 is X10. Final Fantasy 10 2 isn't as bad as he says. Scantily clad women makes him uncomfortable. <laughs> it really makes you think. Yeah, empty. Uh, empty does set off a few signal flares. As much as I love him. Uh, Lista says, well, having no PS2 also tends to have that problem. Oh, I, uh, Final Fantasy IX is for the PlayStation 1, and honestly, if you're comfortable with emulation, and I know not a lot, not everyone is, I get it, but, um, what is it? What, what is the preferable way? Retro Arc with, uh, there's certain chord, I think like Beetle, I think that's the one I use, Beetle PSX, it's like the best way I've found recently. I mean, I'd have to double check that, so don't hold me to that. But uh, it's good. It's very good. And it's also on Steam, although the Steam version I have a couple issues with. It's minor, minor issues. So it's not, like, terrible, but... Um, pretty much any of Square's PC remasters, quote-unquote, all have their fucking issues, because they primarily focus on the mobile market. You know what I mean? first and foremost and then they just port that that like iOS version over to Steam so it has its issues but one particular issue with Final Fantasy 9 is aside from like the backgrounds being super super blurry because they filter the shit through it um, the sound effects are a little bit sharp. You can kind of tell if you are very familiar with the original, but yeah, like when you're selecting a ability to equip an ability, and it has like that crystal shatter sound, that is like extra sharp in the Steam remake. So I, I strongly recommend an emulated version or the original if you can get that. But uh, it's up to you. Oh. Layla, my dog's so cute. I have a Raspberry Pi 4 in NES case, just fun to run emulation games. Um, I all, right now that's what I'm playing on. I'm playing on a Raspberry Pi 4. Um, I you can do. I, I'm not. Sh I'm not sure. Have you ever done uh, PlayStation emulation on Raspberry Pi? Because in my experience, it runs out of RAM. Like it doesn't do a good job at freeing up RAM as you play. So you kind of have to do save states quite a bit. It's around the hour and a half to two and a half hour mark, it'll just crash to main. 
Anyway, uh, Lisa says, still would have to emulate it. Finding an original for a decent price would be a pain nowadays. Have a good one. I got you, Lisa. I appreciate you dropping in, always. It's good to hear from you. Um, shit. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'd love to get the free bombs and shit. Um... What can I do? I still have a copy of Final Fantasy IX. I actually have two. Oh, you meant to, <laughs> to video game player. I gotcha. Well, shit. Then stick around, Lista. But yeah, have you ever um have you ever played PlayStation One games on your Raspberry Pi, Lista? Because I wonder if you also have that same problem. Granted, I think I my Raspberry Pi Four, my old Raspberry Pi Four, is the four gigabyte model, the one I'm playing on right now. And the 4 gigabyte RAM model, I think, encounters that issue faster of it not freeing up RAM. So, I mean, you can still play PlayStation 1 games on it, but you have to do, you know, the occasional save state just to be sure. Um, I've personally, just because that's become a pain in the ass, I'll emulate a lot on the Raspberry Pi, but I will not emulate PlayStation 1 games anymore. And I've gotten the habit of just playing on the PC on RetroArch. And that's what I did for my playthrough of Resident Evil 1. I think I streamed something else. I, st I streamed something else for the PlayStation 1, but I can't fucking remember it. Um, we're gonna go to the Lost Woods. And see what we can do there. Because aside from that, I really... I'm at a fucking loss, guys. Oh yeah, isn't... Yeah, there's just like an item on the ground, yeah? Usually it's a mushroom, but it could be anything here. Um, Lista says, only Legend of Dragoon. I have the 8GB one, and I haven't had an issue with it crashing unless string hunting for a 32-bit string. I gotcha, I gotcha. Well, it might it might just be the, the RAM then. Uh, maybe the 4GB model just doesn't work that well with... Like, it just encounters that problem quickly. But yeah, I was uh, kind of bummed because, you know, I follow a lot of tech channels on YouTube, and in my experience, and this isn't just with the Raspberry Pi, but this is pretty much with any compilation of games uh, released, is influencers, right? Like, the really big ones. They'll play a whole bunch of these games for, like, two seconds apiece, right? get the footage and then move on to the next in order to really, really quickly upload their YouTube video in order to generate more hits and be more relevant and shit. Because whoever's, you know, up on YouTube first with on a subject will have more views starting out, which means the algorithm prioritizes them. It's kind of like a runaway train effect. And I can appreciate that, that it is a grind in a way. Fuck. But at the same time, I would like, you know, I don't know, if you have passion for these games, really explore and try for everything. So I feel like when people were talking about uh, Raspberry Pi for PlayStation 1 emulation, and I can kind of tell by looking at videos and seeing what kind of games they were running and testing on it, it's always the first 10 minutes of the game, you know? I don't know, that shit, uh, that shit fucks with me. How long until you tell me I'm Brit Bond's dad? <laughs> Wait, what? How long? So how long until you tell me I'm Brit Bong's dad? <laughs> I don't. I don't even get that. Why are you mass reporting shit? Did they ever figure out who the fuck ma uh, reported Empty's Discord though? Probably just a manlet. Um, Lissa says I have more issues with my OG PlayStation. I think I might pull it apart and see if it's damaged. Tell me about it. Tell me what's, uh, what issue you got. Gassy says too many suspects for the reporting. I got you. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that Empty in particular gets fucked with. I know it's because Empty himself throws stones, you know? Like he, uh, busts balls. But still, trying to take down channels and discords and shit is fucked up. That's like some real bitch shit. 
Uh, Empty called me that. <laughs> Empty called you Britbong's dad on ne on a Dark Souls 3 stream. <laughs> a little upset. I like that. <laughs> what was what was he implying though? <laughs> what was he implying? And he can speak in code if you need to. That's funny. Um, but yeah, listen. Let me let me know what issues you've been having with the uh, PlayStation. Man. I'm generally gen gen genuinely curious. There we go. I, I can speak sometimes. I have no idea why he said that. Yeah, that's a weird. It's <laughs> a weird thing to say. <coughs> oh God. There we go. Freezes at times, and the audio is purely mono. That's fucking weird. And some audio channels every once in a while don't play. I was gonna say, if it overheats, a lot of people have had luck flipping the PlayStation 1 over, but I've actually never had that issue. But you're saying it just straight up, straight up freezes. Huh. It's consistent on Legend of Dragoon, which is why I emulate so I can play. I gotcha. Hmm. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Yeah, I've, I've never encountered that problem. Bizarre. Really fucking bizarre. Yeah, uh, I'm at a loss for advice. Yeah, sometimes people will, like, bring up tech problems they're having, and just future reference if you're ever watching this on YouTube. If you're ever having tech problems with anything... Wow, that's fucked up. If, you, <laughs> if you're ever having, um problems with anything just let me know because i'm i i legit like to hear that shit you know what i mean i legit like to uh hear other people's problems with tech because it actually helps me and also usually the more i learn the more i can probably help you but yeah i know i've always been uh curious about fixing shit just in general Is magic when it comes to fixing jank shit. Yeah, they uh, they hit a fucking Vietnam mine under there, which I believe is still a problem. <laughs> I think that's still a problem, legit in Vietnam and like Cambodian shit. Is like kids will go out into the like jungle to play, and then they'll like trip a fucking mine. It's like Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ. I think I think there's um uh donations like charities you can donate to that just spend the money to go out and try to defuse all that shit. Uh, let's see. Lissa says, I've most of my time fixed my old systems, which is probably why they still work well. I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, Gassius says the OG PlayStation was terribly designed, and nothing short of a miracle was success. That's the thing is, I've heard you say that before, Gassius, and I, I like, believe you, and I've heard that from other people that they had to flip the fucking system upside down to prevent overheating. I've never had an issue with, and I have two PlayStation 1s, don't ask me why, it's just, sometimes over the years you just accumulate shit. Wow! I got, I got bamboozled, I got caught up between bushes. <laughs> wow, this sucks, dude, it's like the one place I need to check. I'll try the other route, actually. Um, Lissa says... Wow, this is like fucking cancer, right? This is absolutely fucking cancer. Uh... Recently got a new 72-pin connector so I can fix my NES. Yeah, dude. I fucking need one for mine. My NES, that it was also the issue, was the, uh, the, um, connection pins. The contact pins, rather, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Those things suck. Dude, the NES is a massive piece of shit. For real, though. Um, Gassius says they went through, I went through, or Gassius, <laughs> Gassius went through, I guess is the correct way to put that. Gassius went through three originals. The PS1 worked perfectly, though. Oh, like the PSONE one worked perfectly. Yeah, I never had the PSONE one, the PS1 one. I just had the original PlayStation 1, PlayStation 1. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine for me. I don't know. But, but I have heard other people having issues with it, so I'm not I'm not calling anyone a liar. I'm just saying I personally have never had an issue. Um, let's see. Lissus says depends on the board inside. The first iteration is poorly designed and has no heat sinks on it. Ah, okay, that would answer it. 
Yeah, I might, I might actually, did the first rendition of it and the second rendition of it look the same? Because if they did, then I might actually have the second generation one. God damn it. Hey, there we are. All right. Uh, I'm going to focus here. <laughs> but uh, answer my questions. Holy shit. Because this place sucks, asshole. Where is the shroom? I think it's on the left side. Oh, fuck! God, God damn, dude, no! No, daddy, no! Alright, well, I don't think I can do anything here unless I have all three medallions, which I don't have. No, I can't. Oh god, let me get some water. I'm fucking dying over here, dude. Dehydrated as fuck. This just says, looking at some board images, there are five iterations. Just for the PlayStation. Well, how many looked identical is my question. Because I... If I do have an... If from the outside, they look the same. I might have a later rendition of the PlayStation 1, which is probably why I did not have any issues, if that's the case. I'm assuming that the final rendition was the, uh, the like, the slim PSONE PS1. Uh, let's see, Gassy says I got insurance the second time, they only had PS1s at the game store, so I got that one instead. Well, from my understanding, they're the same, right? Like, there's, it's not like... Like a switch in a switch light, you know what I mean? So it's not like you're shafting yourself. To my knowledge, anyway. Come on, fucker. There we go. Alright, looking for a mushroom. Or, well, what's replaced a mushroom, anyway. Oh, shit! Alright, well. That's good and bad. The bad thing is, I don't know what the fuck to do. I guess I know where a couple dungeons are. I could try my hand at doing some dungeons. Yeah, I mean, we've been everywhere. I guess I could fuck around in the dark world, but I, I can't do anything in the dark world, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Uh, first generation has composite on it. Second up had its own plug for... Audio and video. Hmm. I'll look on it. I, I might. I might have had two and up. If they look the same, it sounds about right. That's in the closet somewhere. Okay. Uh. L let me. Let me see here. Let me. Um. See right. On my notes, where exactly we can go. I'm not entirely sure we'll keep streaming. I am gonna stream this shit. Maybe I'm gonna stream this tomorrow. It's a big maybe. It would be fun to complete this, but this is like really, really fucking painful. To like reload starting from the house every single time. Oh wait, oh wait. Let's see, let's see how many keys I have. Keys for what? Uh, dungeon 3, Dungeon 5, I don't know which ones those are. <laughs> I don't know which ones those are. The Dark Marsh Cave, we can't really fuck with. We could go to the Dark Palace, but in the Dark Palace I am just a small... Small red goose, so I can't really even interact with anything, so that's not gonna happen. Turtle Rock, I need the cane, I can't fuck with that. Slime Palace, I need the hookshot or the Pegasus boots to get through. Tower of Hera. I might be able to fuck with the Tower of Hera, actually. Um, Skull Palace also. Skull Palace is just absolute cancer, so I don't think I can fuck with that. Dark World Lumberjack House. If I can figure out how to get there. Alright. We'll try this real quick. 
Let's see if we can get to the dark world and then find our way to the lumberjack house, which is actually the Tower of Hair. Surreal, I know. But yeah, the PlayStation 1's one of my favorite consoles. It just had an insane library because Nintendo went full retard and decided uh, to let all of their third party go to Sony. After Go Figure, Nintendo was like, hey Sony, go fuck yourself. We don't want any of work. Cause they were trying for the uh, the Nintendo PlayStation. All right, can I can I even do this? I might not even be able to do this. It's the golden age of B tier gaming, and the B stands for butthole. Yes. <laughs> I'll always I'll always like that empty uh, hero quote. Good. Yeah, so if I... Hmm. All right, all right, all right. So so here's what's going on, right? Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. If I go into... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. This is so fucked. If I go into... The Dark World... And then when I'm in the dark world, I go into a dark world palace. I stay as the shitty red goose. But if I just am in the light world and I go into a cave and it's a dark world palace, I'm able to do things. And the fact that it's giving me so many Triforce pieces right away. And... Obviously, there's a logic to make it so you can beat any, like, seed. I'm thinking that... A lot of shit is just naturally cut off to me, and there's just, nat like, an exact way to get 20 Triforce pieces exactly. The more I look at the OG board, the more it pisses me off. Well, I mean, uh, it was Sony's first attempt at a game system. You gotta, you gotta give him a little bit of credit. You gotta, you gotta show a little bit of love. Remember, the Sony of yesteryear was not the same as the Sony today. Wow, wow, really? Fucker. Um, boy, let me uh, see if I can go in here. What are you, Dark World Goatsy House? All right, let's make that as a note. Um, uh, dark castle equals dark world goatsy house. All right, there you go. Um, the UI for the PlayStation... <laughs> <laughs> the UI for the PlayStation 4 irritates me to no end. The UI for the PlayStation 3 was almost perfect. Um, I agree that the UI for the PlayStation 4 was bad, but I never saw the UI for the PlayStation 3 because I never owned one. Um, Lissa says, no I don't. Devices of the same era that Sony has made, like stereos, are much better designed. This thing just haphazardly thrown together. Well, I, I like to think that a uh, game console is a little bit different, right? Like different, uh, a different design philosophy. Probably more input-output devices. Probably more bios that they have to worry about. Wow, that sucks. Wow. All right. Um, I think I might be done for now, but I think I might. <laughs> I think I might be done like. For tomorrow as well. Uh, I might take tomorrow off from streaming just because it's Christmas, but I'm glad I got to do a little, a little mini stream for you guys. But I am going to work on recording and editing together the videos for the top ten list. So that'll be seen on YouTube. Obviously, I'm actually gonna make a legit video. There'll probably be like 15, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. You know long, so not, not terribly long, because I know people have short attention spans on YouTube, and I know I I am very long-winded 
and I don't give a shit about people's time. That and personally, just like personally, I'll uh, I just watch very long videos, you know. Um, let's see. Gassy says you could copy videos to the internal hard drive for one. Damn sloppy. Mm. Oh, for uh, PlayStation 3. Interesting. Literally, one of the plugs <laughs> is degrees in the middle. Is 45 degrees in the middle of the board. Jesus. Maverick. Oh, yeah. I figured since I was playing as Goose Gaseous that I might as well make a Top Gun themed thumbnail. I don't know. It's pretty. It's a. It's kind of a stretch, but, you know, I'm a man who loves his, his Tom Cruise references. Anyway, thanks again, guys, for joining me. It is much appreciated. I am going to uh, piss, and then also we're going to raid Philip. Philip Schneider. Very chill, dude. But, um... Yeah, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to follow me on Twitch so you can watch me live. If you're watching me on Twitch right now, make sure to hit me up on YouTube. Because it's cool, and that's where my VODs go. Because on YouTube, I don't get fucked in the ass by uh, copyright law like I would with VODs on Twitch. Anyway, thanks again, and peace out.